I'm an actor, and uh, I've been an actor for uh, exactly 20 years right now. But it took me a long time to, I mean, make my breakthrough. I did a lot of theater, uh, basically small stage, uh, 100, 200 people in the audience row, and uh, I kind of, I, I kind of get a little bit tired of doing theater. And then, uh, I mean, maybe God heard my voice. I was really hoping for having a part in a TV series because then you can work during the day and it's probably only two days per week. And then suddenly, boom, I had that phone call and they asked me to be in the killing. That was pretty awesome. There's one question that a lot of journalists and people have asked me uh, during the last four or five years is how come that the killing or now Borgen has become such a great uh, success in UK or also in US and honestly I don't know. It could have something to do with that we are not and you have to understand me right here we are not that ambitious. I mean we are such a small country probably we are around 1000 actors totally in Denmark and uh, we, have, we have great fun when we go to work it's not like it's so important that acting is my life. It's not. I mean, I go home four o'clock, have a beer at the cafe, say hello to my beautiful wife and my kids. I mean, it's kind of, we play around with things. If I have some troubles or if I kind of feel, ah, this part is kind of difficult for me, I often talk to my wife. Uh, even my kids uh, and I have two or three colleagues which I have a very close relationship to and uh, I often talk to them about it. I mean, I think you, the way up the ladder as an actor becoming a star or whatever you call it is just to be yourself. If I stop working as an actor today, I think I will jump back to being a bricklayer. I think that's very funny. Yeah, probably. Or maybe just go to Bahamas, spend all my money. <laughs>